Just a hair if you can. There we go. Thank you. Next groups are going to be talking about firearms. We'll start with the pros. Please give everyone a warm welcome.
Gun to your knee and that they establish might over right. They're one of the only weapons that don't depend on the individual strength, which can make them extremely dangerous. In new countries, there's always a possibility of uprising. However, arming most of the citizens lead to a decline in rule of law. Eugene Owusu composed the first ever national firearms assessment in Sudan, in which he stated, the startling statistics that have emanated from this assessment point to the consequences of arms, including the strains they place on stability and development. Owusu is stating that statistics show consequences of the amount of citizens currently armed in Sudan put a serious strain on the country, its government, and its stability. Insecurity among Sudanese communities has allowed the force of the gun to diminish reliance on the law and strengthen a culture of violence, two things we see more commonly in the world today due to the availability of arms. Decades of conflict in South Sudan have led to the widespread proliferation of arms that continue to threaten the safety of the people. South Sudan, or any country for that matter, can no longer afford to solve their problems from the barrel of a gun, and therefore it should be given the need. Children are often uninformed about guns, which is why we should not put such fatal tools in all their houses when all it can do is foster the possibility of them harming themselves or others. The, re the experts at the Research Center for Philadelphia Children's Hospital say American children are at substantial risk of exposure to fire firearm injury or death. In fact, in 2014, 2,549 children were killed due to guns, when there's 13,576 injured. 89% of those children killed were playing with a gun, were killed in their own home, were playing with a gun, in the, a loaded gun, in the absence of his or her parents. We should not, Sudan has already lost enough children. We should not stand for an amendment that will add to that body count. An amendment that will place a weapon made solely for the purpose to kill in the hands of our naive. South Sudan is plagued by sex trafficking and slavery. Many of those who are targeted are unarmed refugees. According to the United States Department of State, in 2016, 1.5 million South Sudanese refugees were displaced in surrounding countries due to escaping tribal conflict. The um, CIA World Factbook confirms that many of those who are targeted are especially female refugees and are targeted for sex trafficking because they are commonly unarmed and incapable of defending themselves. It is found by Jennifer Carlson in a series of 71 interviews with gun holders that firearms have historically been the greatest equalizer, making the weak as strong as any other despite size, race, or sex. A physically weak person could be just as powerful as their oppressor, no matter how, what they look like or how they perform. The U.S. Department of State also finds that children are commonly forced to serve for the battling tribes, with over 17,000 recruited since 2013. Arming civilians could provide them with a means of escaping this fate, thus South Sudan, benefit from arming their children. In Sudan, the irresponsible use of firearms has caused many deaths, including the children mentioned in our previous argument. Guns are often used to intimidate others, and not just for self-defense. Firearms are often used to settle disputes, and they continue to threaten the safety of communities, according to the National Small Arms Assessment in South Sudan. One of the main causes of shootings is intentional killing at 44%. Random shootings make up another 44% of firearms violence. Robbery, livestock theft, and intimidation or threats are other causes. In the U.S., statistics show an increase in aggravated assault of 1 to 9% when right to carry laws were passed. And according to the case for gun policy reform in America, in Sudan, with their history of violence, arming each citizen will only increase the violence.
partners at Hunter is something that we really looking for. One way that people purchase arms from a private market is our platform. According to Professor Adam Winkler, the reason that gun shows are talked about so much is because they are easily accessible marketplaces for people who don't want to be subject to background checks to find non licensed gun sellers. Not only not only are gun shows places for legal non-federal sales of firearms, but businesses and other dealers who use the tool. According to Professor Ted, one reason is Harvard University, 2015 found that 22% out of 4,000 non-institutionalized adults who purchased firearms at a gun show, store, or elsewhere underwent no background check. And this diagram represents the private trans transfer of firearms and all the Across the, United, across the United States. Um, as you can see, the majority of them have it legal. Uh, California has it completely banned. Some have it legal for only at gun shows. Others have it banned at gun shows. conclusion, we believe when the question is posed as to whether or not guns are more helpful or harmful to society, the answer is clear. The negatives far outweigh the positives. And it's irresponsible gun use, placing arms in the hands of naive, the ability to purchase on a private market, and the decrease in rule of law isn't enough to convince you. How about the 28 elementary school students at Sandy Hook, or the 33 at Virginia Tech, or the 17 at Stoneman Douglas High School, or the 49 at Pulse Nightclub? or the 26 at First Baptist Church, or the 13 at Century 16 Movie Theater, or the 58 who are enjoying a music festival on the Las Vegas Strip on the night of October 1st, 2017, or the 158 who are all victims of the world's deadliest mass shooting at Garissa University in Kenya, in case you lost count. That's 382 lives lost to gun violence. Some may say that guns positively impact our world and are necessary for protection, but we ask you today, where was the protection for these 382 people? Where was the protection for the 32,000 people that die every year from gun violence? And where would the protection be for the thousands more that will die if something doesn't change in our gun policy on a global scale? It should be as clear to you as it is to us that guns are not only harmful to society, but are appallingly detrimental and should therefore not be allowed in every household, much less required. Thank you.
found many benefits to arming the society of South Sudan. And we mostly believe that in order to decide on such an influential amendment, we should focus on the history and precedents in South Sudan instead of a very different country, such as the United States or Great Britain. And in appropriate views of such as South Sudan, issues such as sex trafficking and slavery, which are not found as commonly in an underpopulated country, we have to focus on these issues. And while we believe that yes, this amendment would be beneficial overall to the country and would allow for more protection to who have otherwise no means of escaping their awful fate. We believe that there should be some consideration, of course, to mental instability and who would own the firearms, what they could do with them, and so on. But once these are considered, we do believe that this amendment would be overall beneficial to And I'm going to make a reminder because this is an emotional issue for many people. That the questions need to be about the information presented. Uh, and remember that everybody was assigned to their position. If you have any third mistake or feeling about this, that's not what these questions are about. It's about asking about the data they presented, about the arguments they presented in the context. So, with that in mind, go, go ahead. Because in Sudan, there's not a stable government, but currently they're trying to democratize it, which is the purpose why they have a constitution and why they would be proposing an amendment in gun violence and, or to protect like, such. In the United States, we already have an amendment like that present and a stable government. So without a, civil, a, without a stable government, what would be proposed would amplify the effects that we have here in the United States, which we clearly see. Uh, does your 32,000 gun related deaths include gun suicides or anything that involves gun violence? Thank you very much.